All right, everyone, welcome back to another hard raid weapon for the end of Crota. Today, guys, we have the Fang of Iryut, or Iryut, well, however you say it, I don't know, guys, but this is a scout rifle from the end of Crota on hard. Now, guys, first off, this is the sape and the point of the tooth. Nothing has ever lived that will not die. So as you can tell right away, it does look pretty cool. It looks like a mouth, kind of. If you look at it, like a, like a bird or whatever, uh, very different <laughs> if you think of like this as the bottom or something. I don't know. Just forget what that said. It looks like something. It looks cool. But <laughs> it's got arc damage for the element. And um, surprisingly, with the scout rifle, the rate of fire isn't up. Whoa, out of all the guns, this one gun has something um, low on it. But, um, or the rate of fire, I mean, but it's got pretty good impact and very good range. Um, pretty standard stuff for a scout rifle. I'm um, really kind of upgrade it, but let's go down to the abilities. First off, guys, it has spray and play. Increases the reload speed of this weapon when its mag is empty, which is very good. Target mark, which is its ability. Enemies hit by this weapon are briefly highlighted, which means you'll be able to see them, like, actual outline of them it's very very cool i've seen this done um i've seen this before it's very cool to see it's very it's very good for your team overall to let you know where the sword bearer is and just different stuff like that if you're doing that the third eye radar stays active while aiming down the sights of the weapon which is an amazingly good because when you're going up against the crota and you second time around the ogres come out and all that stuff then the thrall pops up behind pops up behind you. People's not really focusing on them. With this, it will give you that little buff of saying, "Hey, guess what? They're behind you, so you better get ready." So it's a great thing I have to have. Um, also, the hive disruptor, as always. But let's go straight to the gameplay, guys, and then um, we will do this. So first off, let's go to the damage of this gun. So for a body shot, it is 297 damage to the body and 890 damage to the head. Oh my goodness, that's a good critical. Wow, that's some damage, dudes. Oh my goodness. So, 890 damage to a critical headshot. We are going against level 30 enemies. That is some high damage. Oh my goodness, dudes. Whoa, I was not suspecting that. Even for me, I just did this, but this is, um, that's, that's high. I mean, that's really high. So, that's really good. Okay, so let's go up against a, um, the Elite and see what the damage difference is. So for the bo for the body, it's 252, and for the head, it's 378, half off. But still, the damage, guys, is just, it's beast. I mean, look at that. One clip, he's almost down to quarter. That is amazing. And if I get that upgrade to this gun fully maxed, I cannot wait to see what, what this gun um, is capable of when it is fully maxed out. So that's going to be awesome to see. I mean, this is just, a, this is good, guys. This is really good. But I got this from, from Killing Crota, and the same for my um, Seder, if you want to see that real quick. It glows in the dark. It's all cool looking. Amazing. Um, let's go ahead and finish this guy off. But the Song of Yut. Very cool gun. Very awesome. Um, it's really good. I mean, the damage of it's amazing. I mean, it's really good. 890 criticals. That's This is the base of the gun. No upgrades, guys. So you got to think on the long run. Of what this gun can be dealing when it's up there at the max. So this is going to be very cool to see, guys. When all of this stuff is in there, it's going to be very cool to see. And also it's arc damage, so that's even better. Because why not? But <laughs> everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, drop some likes down below. Subscribe for more. And um, you know what? As always, this has been 2x2. And I'll see you next time.